Thanks a lot. Coming up on Valvoline Halftime 96, we'll look back at the Big 12 Championship game. Big surprise in that one. Also, Army, Navy, and Keith Jackson joins us with a preview of the SEC Championship game. Stick around. It's all coming up on Valvoline Halftime 96. Blackledge. BYU has a 13-0 lead over Wyoming in the WAC Championship, but the game of the day thus far was in the Big 12 Championship. Texas comes in. Very few people gave them a chance to win this game. James Brown, though, predicted they would win by three touchdowns. And tell you what, the soothsayer to Wayne McGarrity, 66 yards after the catch, and that's a touchdown. It was 30 to 27 in the lead. Now, John McAvitt on fourth and inches decides to go for it. What a great call. They fake play action. Nebraska had everybody up on the line of scrimmage. Wide open wide receiver, Derek Lewis, 60-yard gain. They would score a touchdown on the very next play. John McAvick did a masterful job calling plays, 28 runs, 28 passes, perfect balance. That's what they needed to do to offset the Nebraska defense. Priest Holmes with 120 yards rushing and three touchdowns. James Brown, the guy who said they would win this game, well, they didn't exactly win by 21, but how about this day? 19 of 28, 353 yards yeah, and a touchdown. He did his part, that's for sure. All right, also we want to remind everybody, what a big game we have coming up tonight. In the doctors and never been a bad luck number before for Vin Baker, or at least he didn't think so. Alonzo Mourning has admitted the Heat are not in the Bulls League, or are they? But we begin with what was supposed to be a route, or was it? And one of the boldest fourth down calls that you will ever see in a game. James Brown did his Joe Namath impersonation this week, proclaiming to the press how a Texas team that had lost four games, including one to lowly Oklahoma, was going to beat up on big, bad Nebraska, the Cornhuskers, for the Big 12 title. Brown's Longhorns were three touchdown underdogs, yet here was Brown predicting a three touchdown win by Texas. The Huskers figured to use Brown like a human wishbone to get their wish of reaching their third straight national championship game to the first ever Big 12 title game in St. Louis. And there is James Brown. First drive of the game, Texas moving at will as he flings the pass out to tight end Pat Fitzgerald. He fumbles, but still Texas ball. Have you ever seen a priest who can run like this? That's Priest Holmes for the touchdown. Texas up 7-0. Next Texas drive, Brown looking to the end zone. Bad choice. Threw it up for grabs, picked off by Eric Stokes. And McAvick saying, you've got to make better decisions if we're going to win this game. Tied at 10. It's the Priest up the middle, and help is not on the way. 61-yard gallop, Texas up 17-10. Nebraska, though, they come right back. No Amon Green, no problem. It's D'Angelo Evans bouncing outside for a 23-yard touchdown. We're tied at 17. Nebraska down 23-17 in the third. Scott Frost on the option to that man. Evans again tight roping for the score. Nebraska up 24-23. And the Huskers on their next drive. Frost to Vershawn Jackson. To, no, he drops the ball. They have to settle for a field goal. 27-23 Nebraska lead. Huskers need some D. But here is Brown to Wayne McGarrity on the bomb. Defender misjudged the ball. Look at that sweet move. Dipsy do down the sideline. Longhorns lead 30-27. And James Brown, he feels good. A punt. And the Huskers have Texas pinned deep. But look at Brown avoiding the safety. Throws the ball he probably should not have. Fitzgerald one hand grabs setting up. Fourth and inches. Texas inside their 30. Call of the year by Makovic. Sneak. Forget it. Hand off. Forget it. Brown on the roll. Throws a pass on fourth down. Complete to Derek Lewis. Makovic said he wanted Brown to run the ball. And thought, oh no, as he cocked the ball to throw it. But oh, what a call. 61-yard gain to set up Holmes. And his third touchdown of the day. Tom Osborne's bid for a third straight national championship is gone as Makovic pulls off the upset. And yes, there is the man, James Brown. 37-27, Texas wins the Big 12 and an Alliance Bowl payday of $8 million. The Longhorns racked up 503 yards on offense and scored on seven of their ten possessions. The fourth and inches call a gutsy work of art. For post-game thoughts, we call on our psychic friend, James Brown. I didn't really make a prediction. They said we were underdogs by 21 points. I said they might get beat by 21 points. We have a great offense and a great defense. And we showed it today. I hope everyone realized what type of team Texas has and that the South is here to represent. These players gave it, and uh, it is something that we'll never forget. The first Big 12 championship ever. That was one of our team goals. Uh, <laughs> we're going to celebrate tonight. This one hurts because it, it obviously takes us out of any possibility of a national championship. And we've had a lot of players who have been at least in that mix for three straight years now. 
Like the godfather of soul, Longhorn James Brown is feeling good because he finally played well against a ranked team. Texas was 0-3 this year against ranked opponents. Brown was dismal in those games, but he completed 67% in this one for 353 yards. We'll have more on the Big 12 game and the bowl implications aplenty. Favorites. I mean, it made sense. Huskers beat Oklahoma by 51 points. Oklahoma beat Texas. But this Texas team is a master of simplicity. Quarterback James Brown hadn't really predicted a win. He just did what any guy worth his weight and pride would say if asked, what do you think about being 21-point underdogs? Answer, we could win by 21. Coach John McAvick, after the game, referring to the pregame prediction, coolly replied, that's why they put erasers on pencils. Steve Cyphers has more in the upset. Monday, when James Brown said he believed Texas could win by three touchdowns, people thought he was crazy. Saturday on the Longhorns opening series, people could see he was serious. He completed six consecutive passes on the way to the end zone. We just came out trying to make plays, trying to score. We knew we couldn't make many mistakes. I threw two interceptions. We just came out to play Texas football. That's the way we always play. You know, we wasn't playing well early in the season. And we have a great team, and we showed it today. Led by Brown, Texas rolled up 503 yards in offense, 353 of which came through the air. Nebraska intercepted Brown twice, but this defense, the one that never met a quarterback that couldn't rattle, finished the game without a single sack. There were times when uh, he was just elusive enough that we couldn't get the heat on him that we wanted to, and, and then he'd make a play. I played darn good today. He uh, evaded our pass rush really, really well. A couple times I thought we had him sacked for sure, you know, and he got out of it. Brown's best move might have come on fourth and inches in the fourth quarter with Texas holding a three-point lead. John Makovic shunned the punt. And Osborne expected the Longhorns to try to draw his Huskers offside, but that didn't happen. Derek Lewis ended with a big game courtesy James Brown. When I snapped the ball, I was really kind of amazed. And then when I saw the quarterback running to the left, I was really amazed. And then when he threw the ball, I was even more amazed. I was surprised when he rolled out. I, I didn't know it was receiver behind us, and, and I seen him roll out, and it was just you know, me and him, and I was like, he ain't making the first down, and all of a sudden he throws the ball on my head, and I look back, and man, wide open. I had a crease to run the ball, actually. I mean, if I wouldn't have saw Derek, you know, wide open down the field, I could have ran for the first down easily. It's a pass-run option, but I did say come to run, which means you, you better, you know, you better be on the go. Don't get tackled behind the line of scrimmage, because this is, this is a play we really felt had a great chance for success. And then, when I saw his arm cock, I thought, oh, no. <laughs> But he knows what he's doing. One might have questioned Makovic's comment on Monday when Brown made the so-called prediction. But on Saturday, everyone agreed. James Brown did know what he was doing. In St. Louis, Steve Cyphers, ESPN. Steve, thank you. Nebraska entered this game ranked fifth in the nation against the pass, fourth in total defense, third in scoring defense. They let Texas more than double what they had been allowing in points, passing yards, and rushing yards.